Oh, no, Max, stop now. <laughs> Susan, come now. Ah, stop you. You're already late for work. Oh, but what work could be more engaging than you, sweetheart? <laughs> you are the best work any man can desire in the whole world. <laughs> what, what are you saying? Am I now your office files to be attended to today? What could be much better than you, sweetheart? On a rainy day like this? No, 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 no. I am too drowsy for that kind of activity this morning, so please, I beg you. Come eh? on, sweetie. Come on, let me wake you up, <laughs> darling. But it's going to be a bright day ahead of us. What bright day? Um, like this. <laughs> Leave me. Come on, come on. No, I don't want to go. Come on. Don't run away. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Sweetheart. Come on. Mom. I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. Leave me. No, no, no. Don't start. Don't let your mommy hear. She Let's won't. Go. She won't. She won't to go. Let's go. <laughs> Children, hurry up. You're going to be late for school. We are ready. Okay, go outside. Matthew is waiting for you guys in the car, okay? Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye, children. See you later. Children, aren't you guys forgetting something? <laughs> All right, you guys be good. I love you. Love Bye. you too. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Mom. I see you are becoming very fond of these children. Of course, why not? I mean, aren't they lovely? <laughs> You were sleeping. Oh, yes, I was. Alright. And now that you're waking me up, you pay me for it. No, no, no. no. This is the CV of Mrs. Benusala Jolana. Uh, profile states there that she is um, highly motivated, adaptable, and she has had so many experiences so far. That's okay. Hello. Donatus Vanigo, chief, here. Oh, my darling, my dear, my dear, how are you? 
Oh, of course. Of course. We should go together. Yeah, yeah. Come over to the office and let's go from here. Good. <clears throat> That's all right. Okay. Okay, sir. Good afternoon. Is your boss in? Yes, let me inform him you're here. Don't bother. Hello, baby girl. How are you, darling? What kept you? You took so long. But I didn't take so long from the time that I found you. Oh, baby, with you, one minute is like eternity. <laughs> I see. Anyways, now that I'm here, can we leave? Sure, why not? Sure, sure, we can. Okay. Right behind you, girl. <laughs> Open your eyes. Mom, please do not do this to us. You cannot remain like this. Don't worry, she'll be fine. God is in control. Considering the level of her force, we believe that she will soon come back to consciousness. How soon, Doctor? How soon? Yes. How soon? Soon we believe. We believe that God is in charge. You know, we doctors, we care. God heals. Come in. Oh. Hey, babe. <laughs> Hey. Hey, darling. Mm. How are you? I'm good. Just had a hectic day. Oh, sorry. Come in. And... Oh. Um, how is your mom? Yeah. Is she getting better? Any good news yet? She's there. I mean, today there's hope. Tomorrow things are getting worse. I mean, I'm just tired of this whole situation. Coupled up with the kids. Man, it's not easy at all. Ah, that's true, that's true. How are the kids? How are they coping without mom? What can I do? I don't have a choice. I need to be there for them as their mother. If my mother dies today, would I not take care of them? I don't have a choice. Yeah, that's true. I don't envy you one bit at all. Are you not a man? <laughs> ah. Anyways, I am so tired and I need to rest. <laughs> Let me come and help you rest. I have just a thing for you. <laughs> Why are you dressing up? How do you mean? You're not leaving, are you? Do I live here? I know you don't, but I just... But what? Have you forgotten that I need to prepare food for the kids and also pick them up from school? What about your driver? What about him? I thought he was supposed to pick the kids up from school. Do you want to run my home for me? Okay, I'm sorry. Let me walk into the door. <laughs> like this? Thanks. 
I know my way. Mommy, why are you doing this to us? Why do, you, why do you prefer to remain like this rather than coming home with us? Please, Mommy, get to her and let us go home. We miss you. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good afternoon, nurse. I'm fine, sir. So, your wife and kids were here a few minutes ago. My wife? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, sir, yeah. you're welcome. Thank you. I know you are a strong woman. Don't give up. Be strong and get out of this situation for you. The kids and I miss you at home. Also hearing us, she'll be fine. Thank you. It's okay. Excuse me. Thank you. Let the power of the Lord oh, come God. down. Let the power of the Lord come down, hallelujah. Let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Father God in heaven and earth, let your power come down to heal your daughter from this charcoal of comatose infirmity in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father God, you have done it in the time of Lazarus. Do it again so that the whole world will know that you are the one that sent your servant into this great mission. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let the power of the Lord calm down. Why are you just coming to the office at this time and why are you dressed this way? So you asked me to drop the contract in the federal secretary before coming to the office. And so? That's the reason why you have to dress like this to my office? No, you should have gone you should have gone naked. Stuck naked. Because I asked you to, 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 to drop a file at the federal secretariat. Do I not say anything wrong what I'm wearing? Will you shut up? Now just make a U-turn and get out of this office and never you dress like this to this office again. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Get out. Can you 
imagine? What kind of insult is this this morning? What is wrong with what I'm wearing? Every time he's finding fault in everything I do. Anyway, very soon all this nonsense will end. He won't have one lie gone behind his back. Very soon, Monkey will go market for this office. He no go return. <laughs> Is he in? Yes, he's inside. Unasiam. She unasiam for herself. Babu where they come on key anima. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were coming. Do I need to obtain permission before coming to your office now? Of course not. I was only kidding. I know. So, I need um, some money for the drugs that the doctor recommended for mom. Oh, yes, I forgot. Why didn't you remind me at home? Um, let me give you a check. Eh? Okay. I don't have much cash in the office yet. Yeah. Okay, sit down, please. you hurry up <laughs> to the bank, eh? Mm. <laughs> what is it? Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Come on, get out of this office. I'm sorry, sir. Idiot. Can you imagine this idiot just walking into my office anyhow? She's your secretary. So? Huh? So? 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 <laughs> Alright, now hurry up to the bank, okay? Alright, take care. Later. One of these days. <laughs> My God, Madam, you're awake. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, let me call the doctor at once. When did she come out of coma? I can't say exactly, doctor. I only came for a routine work checkup and I met her awake. Okay, we well, thank God. Yes, doctor. Uh, <clears throat> go and meet the metro, okay? Okay, doctor. Tell her to get in touch with her family immediately. Okay, sir. They need to be informed, okay? All right, sir. Okay. All right, sir. Thank God, Mom, you're awake. <laughs> Thank God. I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh, my dear. How are you? Are you feeling okay? Oh, good, good. 
Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Daddy, please, can we go home with mommy? Okay. Not really, my dear. Mommy will have to stay with us a little longer until she's fully recovered. Hmm? We have to take care of mommy. Mm. She'll be fine, okay? So when am I seeing you again? I will see you. What do you mean you'll see me? When are you coming? Just take it easy. Don't rush me. I don't understand you anymore. You're becoming too evasive for my liking. And you are being too pushy for me too. I told you, let things work out on its own. <sighs> What are you talking about? Who is back? Mom, she's back from the hospital. Who? Who told you? When? Where, how? The doctor called and said that she insisted that she must come back home today. Before I could get to the hospital to stop and persuade her not to, she was already on her way back by public transport. But why would the doctor allow her to go without my consent? I do not know. That's not the issue. What are we going to do? Where is she now? She's inside the house. Let's go. Daddy, Daddy, How are you? Daddy, How Daddy are you? Is back. Oh, yes, she is. That's very good. Very good. Where is she now? She's inside the house. Good. Let's go and see her. Come on. Oh, my darling. I'm so glad you are back home. Oh. Yes, I miss you so much. Oh. Ah. The doctor said you're not feeling too strong, you know, to leave. You should have stayed a few more days to get... Hey, I'm okay. I'm very strong. I don't want to stay one more day in that hospital. God will finish the rest. Besides, I missed my family. you all missed you too, mommy. It will never happen again, darling. We missed you too, mom. But you shouldn't have left the hospital against the doctor's advice. Yes, yes, it could be risky. I'm okay. I'm just okay. The good Lord who has started something good in me will surely finish it. Doctors care, God heals. Amen, mommy. Okay, girls, let's leave husband and wife mm. alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, I'm so happy I you're back you. home. I missed you. I missed you too. Mm. Mm. So tell me, how have you been coping with work and the children? Oh, <laughs> I must tell you, it's been a very lonely and traumatic experience. Oh, I'm here now. It won't be lonely again. Mm. <laughs> oh. Mommy, are you going to cook us banga soup tomorrow? We have not eaten banga soup since you were admitted in the hospital. Yes, mommy, it is true. Small mama has refused to cook us banga soup. Why? She says she can't pound palm nuts because it will stain her nails. Oh. If I may ask, who is small mommy? 
It's Auntie Suzanne. She said we should be calling her mommy since we are not around. She says she's the mommy of the house. Mm. But it's true. I mean, I've been in charge since your absence. Well, you're correct. Just that you have refused to provide for the children what mommy will provide for them. Is it not only Bangasu? I have provided every other thing. You not tell her now about the sweets, chocolate, ice cream, everything I buy for you guys at school every day? It's okay, it's okay. Mommy is here now. Mommy is back. Whatever you want to eat, I will provide it for you, okay? Yes, Mommy. That's... Susan? Yes, Dad. <laughs> yes. What's this? nothing for you to worry about mom to my dearest wife in whom i'm well pleased mm. we are thanking god who has restored her health and brought her back to us in one piece oh, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> you're such a wonderful husband what would i have done without you susan you're so amazing. I know I can depend on you. My lovely angels. Just bear in mind that mommy loves you and I'll be here for you all the time. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> we love you too, mom. Come on, let's pop the champagne. Yes, to life and a family full of health, never to be ill again. Amen. Amen. To a united family in peace and love. Mm. To my dearest wife and my wonderful children. Yeah. And to a loving and caring father. Mm. Hey, Pepe! Hooray! <laughs> Just hang on, we're going to chest that. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pepe! Hooray! Chest! 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 Oh! It's alive. It's alive. Mmm. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> ah, brother Donatus, the Lord has never disappointed anyone that put their trust in him. The Bible says that we shall mount on wings like eagles. We shall run and not be weary. Amen. We shall walk and not faint. Amen. Like Mount Zion, we shall not be moved. Amen. You see, a thousand shall fall by our side. Ten thousand shall fall by our right hand side and nothing shall come near us. Amen. 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 With our eyes, we shall see the end of the wicked. Amen. Amen. The Lord is our buckler and our shield. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, no destruction shall come near us Amen. because we will not be destroyed. Amen. 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 The Lord shall prepare a table in the presence of our enemies. Amen. Those that dig any pit for us to fall into, such one will fall into it. Amen. Because the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Brother Donatus, yeah. I think I will take my leave now. Thank you so much. You see, uh, the shepherd of the Lord have to attend to other sheep in the day. Because night comment where men cannot walk. <laughs> yes, <Pastor. laughs> oh, yes, Pastor. But not until you attend to what is uh, placed before you. A prophet bread is ordained for the prophet pleasure. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Pray the name of our God. Hallelujah. No problem. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. And I'll take my leave. Thank you. Uh, Are you are you awake? Yes. Where are you uh, coming from? Um, <clears throat> I I went to I went to check on the children. You know, while you were away, I developed this habit of always uh, checking on them by twelve midnight and then just before daybreak to mm. make sure everything is all right. That's thoughtful of you. <laughs> You're such a caring husband. Mm. Mm. What will I do now? It's only you and them that I have. Oh. <laughs> I will always be here for you. Yeah, thank you. How are you feeling this morning? God has been merciful to me. Amen. Hold on, I'm coming. Bobby! Who are you? Bobby! I'm sorry. How may I help you? And who are you? 
excuse me, who am I? <laughs> who are you? And um, what exactly are you doing here? Are you sure you're in the right building? You better start talking or I'll call the police. Anyway, I will deal with you later. That fool, he can run to high heavens for all I care. He will come back here and meet me. I will be waiting for him. That's how he goes around carrying dirty gutter girls. And when he's ready, he'll open that stupid mouth to tell me that he loves me. But today, I will deal with him. I will wait for him. He can run to hell. He will come back here and meet me. I'm here. My dear stranger, as you can see, the man responsible for your mental quagmire is not home. And I myself, I'm really not in that mood to tolerate lunatics, especially not rude ones. What did you say? Oh, you heard me right. Loud and clear. Except assuming you're deaf. Your father, your mother, your whole generation are mad. They are stupid, deaf and dumb. Stupid, dirty slut. Okay, I can see where you're coming from. You obviously don't have home training because, okay, let's assume your parents are like super poor. They can't afford proper etiquette for you. But what you're doing here is really not allowed. So my advice to you is that you get out of here or else, uh, or else what? Or else what? What would happen? What would you do? Get your filthy hands Or else what? What would you do? 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 Susan, you slapped me. You are a fool. You are very stupid. Do I look like one of those gutter girls that you carry? Do I look like them? I do not ever want to see you in my life again. Do you understand? And as for you, count yourself very lucky today. Because the next time I see you in this house, it will be your funeral. Do you understand me? Susan, you... Bobby, who was that terrorist? That is... Oh, that was my girlfriend. She is or used to be. We don't worry about that. By the time I'm done dealing with her, I will deal with Susan so badly, she will not know what here. She slapped me. My God. What? Thank you very much, Pastor. <laughs> yeah, don't mention it. Uh, you see, what is the value of the shepherd if he cannot attend to his sheep? It is the joy of the shepherd to see his sheep grazing on a threshold of a flourishing grain. Listen, the joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength. Oh, my husband is back. Oh, <laughs> Pastor. Welcome, yeah. darling. How are you, Pastor? Oh, we It's us. so good of you to come. <laughs> I, I didn't know you were visiting us today. I would have been home earlier. Uh, oh, <laughs> you see, don't worry. I was in the vicinity um, to see one of the families of the Lord that needed prayers. And I thought it wouldn't be right for me to be around without popping in to say hi. To your father. That's very kind of you, Pastor. Very kind. I, I hope Madam entertained you. Oh, not at all. He just refused to take anything. He oh. just came in, refused to sit down as well. <laughs> just came in, said his prayers, and uh, decided to leave. Pastor, that's not good enough now. Yeah. Uh, at least you should have taken something. Oh, you see, uh, Brother Donatus. You see, the Bible says that those that sow tearfully in the night will come back repentantly in the morning. This is the hour of visitation and interceding for the families that are burdened with travels of life. I will come back in the morning of sharing bread, then we shall sup together. Okay, okay, just hold on, Pastor. Just hold on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Oh. May the name of the Lord be praised. Yes, it is the Lord's doing. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Pastor, let the house of Christ be blessed. Amen. Brother Donatus, you worry so much. You see, because you have done this to one of the anointed of the Lord. I lift up my hands unto the firmament and to the four cardinal points of the earth 
and down to the deep of the deepest. And I invoke the blessing of the Lord to be upon you and your family. Amen. Amen. And let the secrets, the secret treasures of the dark places be revealed unto you and your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pastor Donatus, you are blessed. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You are blessed. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will believe in. Okay, Pastor. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Thank Pastor. too troublesome. Oh, who else will I trouble if not you, sweetheart? No, 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 please, I don't go <laughs> into your trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will go. Okay, I'll go. Now, why are you dragging me along with you? You said go with your trouble, and you are my trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, no, look, wear this one, this one. This Dad, one best suits what you're putting on. Daddy, and how do you know what suits me best? You are old school, please. Look at this, look, look at this one, look at this one. Ask your mother. When we were cutting, I used to, I was the one that was choosing what you used to wear. You know, ask her. In those days, I used to be called the best fashion guy in Lagos. Ask her. <laughs> Daddy, those were analog days. Now we're in the digital era and you are not compliant. Oh, Look at please, it. please, please. Um, father and daughter, I'm not strong enough for your riddles and jokes this morning. Susan, just come, come, come help me fix this, please. Okay, mom. <laughs> okay. Get it up. Get it up. Susan, 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 Susan. Good afternoon, ma. How are you? Yes, what can I do for you? Can I help you? Yes, ma. I'm here to see uh, Susan. Susan. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. But she just answered the door. Yes, but she walked out on me. Sit down. Thank you. Who are you? My name is Bobby. Yes? We are friends. Me, Susan and Mandy. Close friends. What's the matter? I don't know, ma. I don't understand her attitude, too. Susan! 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 Susan!
How may I help you? Son, please. I'm very sorry for what happened. That girl is very fond of me right from childhood. She's my younger cousin, not my girlfriend. Please. She's my blood relation, my blood. I do not care who the hell she is. She can be your domestic dog for all I care. But I will not let you or that rat insult me without facing the consequences. Sorry, nobody will insult you. Okay, I promise it will never happen again. Never. I have finished with you. Now get out of my house. Out of my life and never to cross my path again. Susan, I'm sorry. Please, I cannot leave you like this. Oh, oh, okay, please, for old time's sake, okay, just forgive and forget. What old time? Have you ever done anything for me to remember old time? Get out. I love you. I will do anything, okay? Please, look, I accept the blame, all right? Forgive and forget. Please. You know what? I will tell her to leave my house today. What am I even saying? She will leave now. She's gone. Please. Eh? Susan, you see, I will do anything that a man can do for you. Please. Please. I love you. Please. Susan. Okay. I'll think about it. Now just go. Okay. Uh, Do you not understand English? I said I will think about it. Get out. Okay, sorry. All right, it's fine. Thank you very much. Susan, can I call you? Okay. I'll, I'll text you. Before I change my mind and make you regret your life. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are to walk into my house and try to play boss? <laughs> your house? Look, listen to me. Whoever you are, I do not care even if you are Bobby's mother. But I did not come here for you today. And I am certainly not in the mood for a war. At least you can attest to that from your last experience of me. You're a joker. Last time was your lucky day. Today, I am ready for your fuck-up and I will treat it well. Look, do not push your luck too far. Because you see, this mood right here, it can change for the worst. Okay? You're a cow. You're an idiot. You're an ill-mannered brat. That is what all your mood is worth. Did you hear that? <gasps> What's going on? Betty, would you stop this nonsense? Do you know that this is my girl you're disrespecting? What's wrong with you? Is something wrong with you? Hey! Did you just call me your girl? No. Did you just address me as your girl? Is there something wrong with you? Uh, um... Yes. Would you just... Shut up! You are very stupid! You are hopeless! You are mad! I don't blame you at all! I don't blame you! No wonder this stupid dirty rat here can... No wonder this rat has, has got to, to talk to me anyhow. When you are in my family house, you address me as fiancé. And now in your house, you call me girl? Your girl? Really? Are you crazy? Are you mad? But... Don't bot me! I don't blame you at all. But baby, I... Just shut up. Do not baby me. Did you pick me up from a brothel or a nightclub? Did you? But... Don't bot me! I will not allow you to disrespect me in any way. Especially not in front of this dirty rat. I deserve respect because I've given you respect in this relationship. So I deserve respect from you and your so-called family. Okay, okay. Uh, Susan, I am sorry for using the phrase my girl to describe you. I did not mean in any way to debase you. Betty, this is Susan, my fiancé. You will learn to respect her and live with it. Do you understand me? I'm talking to you, do you understand me? Bessie! Susan! Susan! Auntie, I can't take this insult anymore. 
that unrepentant little brat who just walks into the house at any time she wants, throw herself around Bobby and order him around. And he'll just be there smiling like a moron. It's so annoying. You need to witness the scenario. What are you talking about? Look, just mellow down, okay? What exactly did she do? She's not fit for my brother. She's a girl who constantly has her legs thrown apart. She is rude, ill-tempered, and has a stinking verbal diarrhea. You've still not said anything. Mm -mm, auntie, do I have to spell everything out? That girl is a prostitute. Eh? Yes. Now you're beginning to say something. But how come you know so much about her? Is she your friend or something? God forbid. That whore can never be my friend. She's a prostitute. She's a street girl. She sleeps around everywhere. They flock around her like vampires and she's the squadron leader. My goodness. Does Bobby know this much? Well, I've tried to tell him several times. He just won't listen. It's like he's been bewitched by that girl. She's demonic. Okay. I've heard you. When you get back, tell Bobby to come and see me. Auntie, you better speak some sense into him or, if possible, break his skull. Bobby is losing it real fast. Don't worry. I'll handle it. You know he has rebelled against every advice given to him. <laughs> There's just something about him and that girl. It's like she has become his addiction. <laughs> Rebellion is like the scene of witchcraft. Mm. No brother of mine will rebel against my advice. Bobby won't do that. <laughs> okay. Mandy, you need to talk to your friend Susan. She's turning me into a psychiatric patient. Her attitude towards the relationship is turning me into a psycho. What is it again this time? Always working out on me. And, and, and just over a little misunderstanding between her and my younger cousin, she's threatening to end the relationship. Your cousin assaulted her? For where? Just a little verbal misunderstanding. Who? Uh, Susan, you flirt like wildfire. And I'm always the victim. Uh, don't worry, I'll talk to her. I'm very sure she'll listen to me. Please, will you do that for me? Uh, sure, never mind. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Andy, please. Don't worry. I assure you, I'll take care of it. You promise? I promise. It's promise. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No, don't worry. worry. Uh, let me arrange something for you. What would you want to Anything eat or drink? Anything is fine. Anything? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You know you're <laughs> know smiling. You like. Okay. Let me get you. I'll, I'll be right back. What is this unholy fraternity between you and this girl that is threatening to rip apart the good relationship you have with your sister. Auntie, what fraternity is this and which girl are you referring to? They say her name is Susan. Uh, Auntie, you're our elder sister and I respect you, but I would not be subsumed by pedestrian blackmail into objugating what I know is best for me. And what exactly is that? Susan, the girl is good for me. Auntie, I'm a man. I know what is good for me and what is not. And this girl is fantastic. You need to meet her. Auntie, I'm sure when you meet her, you will thank God for bringing her my way. That is not the testimony of your sister. Mere jealousy. Auntie, can't you see it? My Susan, my sister Betty is jealous of her. And the feeling is mutual from Susan. That's all. How much do you know this girl? Auntie, I know her as much as day and night. Talking about day and night. The day is bright and beautiful. But the night is dark and ominously fearful. Do you know the night side of her? Auntie, 
all things were created by God Almighty for his pleasure. And he gave man dominion over everything old, including darkness. And see, I'm on the right path of pleasure. And I would not be distracted, please. Okay. I wish you well. Thank you. Just be careful. Auntie, I'm careful. Please come and help me decide if this tie matches this belt. <laughs> you never had a head for fashion. Auntie, I do. <laughs> Just answer me. How would you think this will go together? It does, look. It does not. My friend, would you get up from here? Mm -hmm. Come, what is this nonsensical gossip that you're spreading about Susan and I? Gossip about what? I mean, don't play dumb with me. What did you go and tell uh, uh, Auntie about? Oh, that. What do you mean, oh, that? Bobby, you know I don't gossip. You know that about me. The only thing I told Auntie is the truth you've obviously refused to accept. What stinking obvious truth is that? You go around town and blab your mouth about my private life and you call that obvious truth? Bobby, you're gradually drifting into this slumber and you're totally oblivious of the doom ahead. That doom will soon bury you if you don't stay away from my private life. You don't see me here defining to you the kind of relationship that you should be in. So stay out of mine, okay? My brother, what has come over you? I don't get it. What, what is it about this girl? Even with my eyes deep inside water, I can see more clearly than you do. There's nothing good about her. Even every story about her is ominous. Hey, I don't care about those stories. That girl gives me what I want, how I want, and when I want it. And that to me is undiluted love. The gods must be crazy. If not, how else do you explain a floating corpse being tossed to and fro in the storm and yet it assumes that it's a perfect swimmer? Hey, you can keep all that your dramatic expressions to yourself. Just stay out of my relationship. Do you hear me? Stay out of it! Mommy, take care of yourself. I will, darling. And Daddy, please don't forget to help me pick up the PGD form as promised. I won't forget, darling. I'll do that as soon as I drop your mom at the hospital. Thank you, Daddy. Bye, Mom. Oh baby, where are you? Sweetheart! Sweetheart! Sweetheart, where are you? I'm in the bathroom, Daddy. Should I come and join you? <laughs> no, thank you, Daddy. Besides, you've already taken a shower. Oh, I could scrub your back. I'm good, Dad. Thank you. Are you sure? Yes, I, I could am. help you. Seriously? <laughs> hmm? Hello, baby. Are you there? Daddy, not now, please. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, no! Oh! No! no. Daddy, don't, don't touch me. Don't ben touch me. No, 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 Let me no. scrub your back. No, from your back to your back. What I'm really sure of is you might bury a cop soon if you don't resign the decision on walking out his life. Bobby can jump into the lagoon for all I care. I am done with him. Okay? Susan. Babes, you will soon kill somebody. You. Look, this guy cannot live a day if you carry out this threat. Threat, you say? You know me. Bobby, or whatever he calls himself, is history as far as I am concerned. Except, anyways, 
Except what? Except he and that little rat he calls his sister will come and kneel down before me and apologize for all the insults. If not, he should forget that I ever existed. Okay? Well, if that's the truth, Bobby will do it and you know it. But you know I know you very well. Please, don't make it look like humiliation. Let him just come and apologize. Let him kneel down before me and apologize, period. Find the wheel. Right on, she's on now. My angel, please now. Uh, I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Let bygone be bygone. I've scolded her. She would talk to you with utmost respect. She will not even call you by your name. She will refer to you as Auntie Susan, Madam Susan, or even my Lord. Please now, Susan. Beg your friend now. Please. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Susan, please now. He has pleaded and promised it won't happen again. See, this is enough sign of repentance. He's even kneeling down. What nonsense repentance? Is this the first time that termite he calls his sister will come and be insulting me? And then he'll come here and beg me. He, she will not do it again. And before you know it, that devil in her will pick her again. At least this one I'm a witness. He has promised it won't happen again. At least this one will be a bond. Hmm? Pity him. Show him mercy now. Please. Pity him for what? I will not bring myself so low for a man that does not have a soul of his own. A man that cannot take care of a woman. A woman that he wants to marry. I will not. Not me. Not Susan Baningo. Susan, why are you treating me like this? What did I do to deserve this maltreatment? Eh? Please, ma'am, is it a crime to fall in love with you? Then fall out of love. Fall out. Did I beg you to fall in love with me? Did I? No, look at me very well. Do I look like that termite you call a sister? Look at me, do I? Ah, Susan. The same way you fell into the love. Just fall out of it, oh. Just fall out. Like I care. I thought you go to church. Can't you forgive someone who has sinned against you? Mm. Yes, I go to church and I read the Bible. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Or did you not read the part where Jesus Christ used Cain to whip all the people that were desecrating the, uh, the house of the Lord? I will not allow any man desecrate my personality. I will not, never. Um, okay. Uh, Susan, so what are you saying? Nothing. I, I should go. Did I ask you to come? Did I? Did I invite you? You know what? It's okay. Enough is enough. This is the limit. I beg, pop well. Go, go. Go, go. Bobby. Bobby. Uh, Are you sick? Are you happy? Hold it. What is wrong with you now? What kind of person are you, Susan? Ah! Susan, you are too hard on this boy. Why now? Mandy, that is how you treat men. You handle them with iron hands. Otherwise, they will mess you up. <laughs> what if he doesn't come back? He will come back. I know he will. I am too hot to lose. I know they shake up. I beg, leave matter for Matthias. Baby, baby. <laughs> yes. Say, Agbero, they collect money for bus driver. No before Homer Jeep owner. Well, as for me, a bed at hand is better than 40 in the bush. Take my advice and leave it. Let him fly. Fish boku for water. Eh? I know they shake. I am a dollar price product. I cannot be sold in a local market. You understand now? <laughs> I've just said my own local market or high market. <laughs> we'll soon know. <laughs>
My dear love, as you read this note, I am somewhere in a dark corner of life, pondering whether it's right for me to do what I have done. But conclusively, I have come to believe that a man should follow his heart, for your heart cannot deceive you. My heart tells me that I love you, and I'm sure you love me too. But what has caused this minor friction between us, I cannot phantom. I know that love covereth the multitude of sin. Whatever sin I or any member of my family has committed against you, I beg in the name of God to forgive and forget and come back to me as before. I am ready to sacrifice anything for this love, so long as it will make you happy. Come back, my love, for you are the sunshine in my life. Since you left me, darkness has beclouded my life. Let the light shine once again. Let the love blossom. Let the old days return and let us broaden the smiles again. Without you, my love, I am a lesser man. Yours only beloved one, Bobby Dende. Nonsense. Problem. It's fine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bye. Who was that? My colleague in the office. Mm -hmm. okay. What? <laughs> hi, ladies. Oh, hi. Uh, surprised to see you here. Can I join you? Oh, hi. What's up, Bobby? How are you? I'm good. How are this you? Doing? This is it. This is it. Stay away from this table. Who told you that I was here? A little birdie told me. I am not joking with you. Now, who told you I was here? Susie, come put yourself. We are at the public place. I don't care. You're shouting. I will shout more if you do not get the hell out of this place. Why are you doing this to me? You're embarrassing me. I will embarrass you over and over and over again if you do not tell me who invited you here. Who invited you here? Okay, fine, here. fine, fine, fine. I did. Look, Susan, listen. Bobby loves you a lot. I think you should give him a second chance. One more time, we will not hurt. Mandy. Yeah? Should I tell you what I think? Sure, do. I think you are a baboon. You are a monkey. You are a good for nothing, useless traitor. Idiot. Susan, why did you say all that for me? For me? Su Susan! Susan. Su Susan. Mandy, please help me talk to you. No, 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 just, 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 just go. Go! Mandy. Go! Please just talk to her for me. Just, just, just go. You're a fool! What do you think you are? What do you think you have that is making your head puff? I am who I am. And who I am is which you are not. And what I have is something you would never, ever in your life have. If you get my drift, You're Harris. drifting into doom. Trust me. That which you have, which I will never envy, is what will drag you into your destruction. Frustration! Frustration is the catalyst to your reaction. Because you cannot stand head to head with men and measure your ground. That is why you are sounding like a broken record. I stand my ground, and that is what makes me different from lily livers like you. Stand your ground and be a woman of dignity. Dignity, my foot. 
You see the ground you're standing? It's a sinking sand. And I'm watching you very closely. Because you know why? You would soon submerge. Because you're building castle in the air. You lie, frustrated traitor. I stand on a solid rock. You can never be my match because I am Susie, the hottest babe in this town. I am a Baningo in case you have forgotten. Hey! Hey! What is happening here? Susan, what's going on? I said what's happening? What's the matter? Nothing, mom. What do you mean nothing? I had you, both of you. I had you abusing each other on top of the voices and you're telling me nothing. Talk to me. Ma, just because I was trying to tell Susan to listen to her boyfriend. He came to me complaining about her. Susan insulted me everything in the public place. She even called me a babu. Can you imagine? I will say worse things if you do not mind your business. I won't be surprised if you're not already sleeping with him. Susan! Shut up! Why is she having sleepless nights over what's happening between me and that idiot? Why are you crying more than the bereaved? Susan, are you, are you accusing me of sleeping with your boyfriend? Which boyfriend? I have surpassed that height, so you can have him for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I do not care. Susan, what is wrong with you? Have you gone insane? Mom, can you tell her to get out of this house or else? Or oh, what? Or oh, what? Wendy. Yes, you called me. How did it go? Uh, please, please, leave me out of this. I've had enough, enough insult from you and Susan. You guys should leave me out of your relationship issues. Sorry, sorry, please come. I don't down. want to sit, please. Please, please, come and sit down, please. Mandy, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry now. After all, I'm not the one that insulted you. Enough for you. We don't look at home training brat talk to me the way she did. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. What is wrong with you? Since when did you start telling Susan what to do and what not to do? Mandy, you have to help me. I'm so in love with Susan. My heart, body and soul. I'm suffering from fever. With that, that fever will soon kill you. Or dead. Uh -uh. Is she the only girl in this town? I mean, you chop juju. Mandy, stop all this insult now. Are you going to help me or not? Look, if I didn't know you and Susan, or how you guys started, I would have said you are under some kind of hypnotic spell. Mandy, you will help me. I am not helping you, please. Keep me out of this. Okay. This is my magazine. Which time is that is making us laugh? Who said that again? Don't talk. Daddy, you remind us tomorrow we promised us we are coming back home. I will, I will. And I will buy you wristwatches too. And Abuja Suya too. Oh, I will buy whatever you want, okay? <laughs> Darling, yeah. please be careful with the airport taxi. I will be. You know, you forget I have a permanent driver that picks me anytime I'm in Abuja. And daddy, do not forget to buy me the jewelry you said you'll get me. You promised. I did? Dad. Don't mind your father, he's only kidding you. I'm not kidding. I will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I will buy it, let's go. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> how are you? And how was your trip? How is Abuja? <laughs> yeah, mom is fine. IB and Ruby are okay. Daddy, when are you coming back? Okay. When you're coming back, please don't forget to bring me something. <laughs> Okay. Mom is here. No, her phones are here as well. Okay. Hold on. 
dad wants to speak to you. Hello, darling. I'm fine, thank you. And you? My phones. They are here. It's on. I didn't switch it off. I didn't switch any of them off. Maybe it's network. So how was your trip? <laughs> Just missing you. Hello? 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 What happened? Winds off. <sighs> this network providers can be so annoying. Is he still coming back tomorrow? Oh, yes, he is. I wish he was coming back today. Why? Because the house feels so empty since he left. Oh, the house has been so lonely since he <laughs> left. But he just left two days ago. Two days? But I thought he traveled on Wednesday. Today is Friday. <laughs> but it seems like ages since he left. <laughs> that is pet. <laughs> Mom, you know that's not true. Okay, tell me you're not missing dad. Why won't I? Every woman wants her man beside her. Oh, see? <laughs> that is much. Suzanne. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Mom, how do I look? You look hot. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Good. So tell me, which of your friends is having this party? Mom, do we have to go through this again? Yes. Okay, her name is Nene. Mm -hmm. I told you she's a commissioner for information's daughter. And we served together during my youth service, remember? When is this party starting and when is it going to end? 7 to 12 midnight. What? 12 midnight? Yes, Mom. Are you telling me you're coming back all by yourself by 12 midnight? With the news of bad boys all over town? No way. What kind of mother do you think I am? <sighs> Mom, you worry too much. I choose to worry. Why would I take that kind of risk? Allow my daughter to come back home all by herself by that time of the night? What kind of mother do you think I am? Okay, let me call her and... Let me call her and see. Hello? Nene, yes. It's me, Susan. I am coming. But there is a little problem. Yes. Well, my mom doesn't feel it is safe for me to come back home after the party. Because it's going to be late. Yes. So is it possible that I stay at your house after the party? Yes, because that's the only reason she's going to let me come. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll see you soon then. Thanks. All right, bye. See? She said it is fine that I could stay over at her house. Good. Now I'm rest assured that you're safe. <sighs> And make sure you call me once you get there. I will. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> You're the best mother in the world. <laughs> you are so caring. Okay. I'm gonna go now. Have fun. I will. Bye. No, 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 don't write that. Write it there. You don't do that. Write it. Oh, on! Where is he? I think you sent him, right? Get the gate. Get the gate. You don't cancel. You don't do that. Don't, don't cancel like that. It's dirty. It's dirty when you cancel. You have faith there. That is how! <laughs> How are you doing? How are you Fine. Doing? Let me help you with this. And then we have coffee. How are you? Fine. Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you doing? Fine. Good, good, good. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> it's all right, it's all right. How are you, baby? Fine, thank you. Good, good. Good you children. You're welcome. Yeah. So how was the trip? It was good, very fine. Ah! Very fine. Very fine. <laughs> <laughs> delicious meal. I don't know you're such a good cook. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm. Oh. Who's there? Who's there? Shh. Stay gay. Oh. Oh. Stay there. Oh. Hi. Why did you slam the door against me? Um, I, I, I was just making sure. I, I was... Making sure of what? I, I was just making sure that... Um, that... Uh, I was making sure... What are you doing here? Did somebody just say something? Yes! Your superior said something. And I ask again, what are you doing here? You're a big fool! Who the heck are you to ask me what I'm doing here? You, what are you doing here? Does this look like your father's house? Oh. So you have decided to stand on the same thinking sand which you accused me of. You now want to build castles in the Abbey? What is this good for nothing worthless infidel doing here? You're a bloody good for nothing gotta pick. Oh, I thought you said you will never step into this house again. Draw it in its own vomit. But where are you standing there watching this useless word insult me? Uh, ladies, I'm sure there is a way we can settle this thing and make settle it. Settle what? And with who? This low life gold digger that knows how to jump in and out of people's boyfriend's bed? Baby, it's not what it looks like. Mandy here. Can you this? just ask her to get the hell out of this house? Why change my mind? Oh my gosh! And if you change your mind, what will happen? What will happen? Bobby, do not try me. Uh, do not try me. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. Um, Mandy, Mandy, uh, Mandy, please come and go. What did you just say? Uh, come and go. I don't want you. You're a big fool. I don't fall forever. And the compo. And as for you, you better watch your back. Because when what is coming behind you hits you, you may never ever need to tell the story. It's you! I was not I was not out! And you, follow me now! Why are you dragging me like Wait, Let's go Suzanne. Follow me. Suzanne. Suzanne. So long. I've been waiting for you for over an hour. What kept you? That question is on two words. Anyways, I've been busy. How may I help you? Yeah, well, I just came to apologize over the incident at my place. Please, I'm very sorry. Fine. Apology accepted. You may leave. Hey, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Please, don't take it to heart. You know your friend. You know how Susan can be erratic sometimes. Okay. So because you know I'm not as erratic and useless as your girlfriend, you actually invited me to your house to be insulted by Susan and you, isn't it? But you know I didn't know she was coming. And when you knew, you couldn't even open your mouth to tell her I was there because of her. I didn't have any illicit relationship with you. Mandy, don't go there. You and I know that uh, Susan knows there's nothing between us. She's just unpredictable. No, I don't. Because the only unpredictable human being I know is you. Come, let me, let me even ask you. 
Are you a man or some kind of lily liver yo yo? Mandy, don't insult me now. Do I look like a woman to you? Exactly, because you don't strike me like someone with balls. Or do you have one? Mandy, I only came here to apologize for what happened, okay? There's really no need for all this insult. Please. You. You, you, you. Who are you? If I insult you, won't you be happy? Or dead, jedi, jedi? Uh, 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 Mandy, Mandy, don't walk out on me now. What are you talking here? Don't walk out on me. I can see your foolery has gone into your brain. Who are you that I, Mandy, cannot walk out on? Idiots! Mandy! Guys, I, I blame myself. Baby, you're here. Where are you coming from? Uh, I went to get, um, I went to get something. Wait a minute, uh, how did you get into the house? What do you mean by that? Don't you want to see me? I want to see you. It's just that I was wondering... How I got in? No, no, no. I'm just surprised and want to know how you... That I came to see my boyfriend. Yes. But anyway, never mind. It, the most important thing is that you're here to see me now. <laughs> it's okay. I'm hungry. Hungry. And there's food in the kitchen I can... Meaning? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me go and get it for you. <laughs> Just... Ah. What is this? Uh, yeah. Who cooked this nonsense? You, you don't like it? What do you mean? Ah! What do you mean by if I don't like it? You gave me this, this, this tasteless, tasteless nonsense and you expect me to eat it? Uh, baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you wouldn't like it. Uh, I don't. I don't. I deserve a better treat than this. Sorry, sorry. Take it uh. easy. Sorry, I didn't know that you would not like it. I'll take you to Lagoon Hyde restaurant, okay? Let me get this out of here. I please. am waiting. It's fine, let me clear this. Sorry, I'll be right back. I am waiting outside. Yuck. Darling, darling, darling. Ooh. 
Darling. 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 Susan. Susan. Okay. Yes, I'm fine. It's your dad. What about dad? I can't find him in bed. Mom, did you check the bathroom? Yes, I did, and he's not there. Mom, you worry too much. Dad just can't disappear in this whole house. Did you check his study? No. You see, he should be in his study. You know, dad, he loves to cross check his documents at night. Mom, don't worry. Just go to bed, okay? Okay. It's fine. Mind mine. Good night, Mom. Mm -hmm. Honey, you are awake? Where have you been? I've been searching for you everywhere. You almost sent me panicking. Panicking? Why? I was working on this uh, project that I have with the NNPC. I told you about an, a pipeline installation project sometime. Yes, you did. Uh -huh. That's what I was trying to tidy up downstairs. You know, I have to defend this project tomorrow morning, or rather, this morning. Mm? Oh, you almost jumped my blood pressure up. Oh no, you worry too much, sweetheart. Huh? Mm. Mm. Oh. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm here now, okay? okay. You can go back to sleep, okay? Mm. Mm? Mm. 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 Baby, baby, go back to sleep, okay? Don't, I'm coming, I'm almost there. I can't find cab. How are you? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Where are you heading to? The island, sir. Oh, good. That's my direction. Come in. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. How are you? Why is everything? Fine, sir. Thank I've you. I've not been seeing you in the house these days. What's wrong? Uh, nothing, sir. I've been very busy. So busy that it prevents you from seeing your family, your, 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 your family friends? Well, sir, you know Susan, your daughter. She's a very strong-willed person. Her boyfriend came and reported her to me about her rudeness and overbearing attitude. And when I advised her to be responsive to her relationship, she called me all sort of names. <laughs> uh, who is this boy? His name is Bobby. Bobby? Yes, sir. Oh, oh don't worry. I'll, I'll talk to her, okay? Uh, it's not good for her to be going around uh, being rude to people. Especially not her boyfriend, it's, it's, it's bad manners. Oh, I told her the same thing, but she will never take correction. Uh -huh. No, 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 don't worry about that. I'll talk to her, okay? And um, in the meantime, where does this Bobby stay? 
Yes, I'm not too far from here. Oh. Yes. oh, not too far from here. Maybe we can just stop by so that uh, I can douse this whole tension by apologizing to him. Are you sure you want to do that, sir? Oh, sure. Why not? I, I, anything that will give my family a bad name, I would like to deal with it at once and uh, blunder my family's image, you know? Okay, then turn right at the next junction. Right. Yes, sir. Okay, okay then. Right. And uh, I hope every other thing is fine. Yes, sir, it's fine. It's okay. And this, this, this Bobby, that's his name, eh? Bobby. Yes, sir. Okay. Right, I will right here? Yeah, right. The street okay. is just beside. Okay. I know. I know. 